You're listening to Kelly Martin Speaks. I'm your host, Kelly, and the co-producer of Shining Bright Radio, author, blogger, and recovering darkness addict. I've experienced intense anxiety, deep depression, and life trauma, but I'm coming out of the other side now. Darkness was a comfort zone for me for a long time, and it felt safer than the light. So in this podcast, I share with you my journey into the light and how I move through challenge in an empowering way. I'll share with you tools and nurturing ways to embrace your humanity, and I'll bring along inspirational teachers to support your journey too. I was once a shy, scared introvert, afraid to speak, but that's all changing. Let's take this journey together and learn to fly. Welcome to episode 9 of Kelly Martin Speaks. I'm your host, Kelly. Today I'm going to talk about going against the grain. Now I've lived most of my life going against the grain. As probably what you call a black sheep, or I prefer to call it a rainbow sheep of my family. I never really fitted in. I always felt like I was an outsider, a bit of an alien in a strange land. And when I went to school, I felt exactly the same. My peers didn't get me. It got so bad that I actually stopped speaking. And that's why this is called Kelly Martin Speaks. I'm finding my voice finally. I used to hide my mouth when I was in social situations. Or if my friends had something to say and were having a discussion, I daren't say what I wanted to say. What I discovered that, when I did say what I wanted to say, I would be laughed at. And so I grew accustomed to hiding my quirks, my eccentricities, my difference. Now it's taken me probably 40 years to finally realise that being different, being the rainbow sheep, being unique, being eccentric is who I am. And this may well be who you are too. Now sometimes not fitting in is meant to be because you're meant to stand out. When you don't fit in, it can be painful, it can be hard. You can feel this overwhelming desire to belong. You look around you and you see people socialising or families getting together. I often watch people who go for barbecues in the summer and there's a big gathering happening and I wonder why doesn't that happen for me? I don't seem to fit into that. And then I met my best friend Michael who is also an outsider, a bit of a rainbow sheep. And he helped me understand that I'm an outsider and that's okay. When we are outsiders, when we're different, the task that we have in this life is to never lose our unusual ways. To never become dry or serious, appropriate or conventional. This is just not our way. It's okay, as an outsider, to go against the grain. When you're an outsider, or you are a rainbow sheep, you tend to be an agitator or a catalyst. You're here to say and do things that most people won't say or do. You're here to be unconventional. And if you think about the world and all the great leaders, all of the big change that happened in the world wasn't because of people following the pack. It wasn't from people who belonged to a certain group. They tended to be the outsiders the shaman on the edge of a village. People would come to for inspiration and wisdom. But they weren't the sort of people that would hang out of barbecues. They were the people that were standing out on their own. 
bravely shining whatever it was they were here to shine. Now going against the grain can sometimes feel a lonely experience. I experienced this for about 40 years. But I'm not feeling that anymore because I started to really embrace my own company. And as I said in one of my other podcasts, it's very important to see your alone time, not as lonely, but as a sense of sacred solitude. Going against the grain means doing things differently. Now, I'm on the internet quite a lot on social media and I co-produce Shining Bright Radio. I'm a blogger and a writer. And there's so many courses and classes being shared all of the time now. And they tell you what to do. They tell you how to do it. And you must do this and that and this and that and it goes on forever and ever. And I did try that, but it didn't work. It wasn't for me. When I first started doing Facebook Lives, where I had my camera on Facebook and I went live and I was really nervous and scared, the experts told me that I had to have a vision, I had to have a goal, I had to uh, give people what they wanted, I had to uh, summarise what I was doing and give some clear call to actions. But I decided against that. I went against the grain. And so my first video... I think I cried and I sat there and I had no plans, no preparation and I just breathed and I told people how I was feeling and from there inspiration flowed and I started speaking and what I noticed in the feedback from others was it was so unique and unusual to see that happen. A friend of mine actually said that Watching me on video gave him permission to breathe and be silent when he's teaching. He never realised that he could just be quiet at the beginning of a class. He thought he had to go straight into speaking. So you never know how much your unique rainbow sheep catalyst ways are going to touch other people. Perhaps you have a a particular way of painting art, or dancing, or writing, or you've got an idea for a business that just sounds really wacky and crazy, and everybody else around you is saying, this is just crazy, it's not going to work. This is when you say to yourself, perhaps it's not here because it's waiting for me to bring it. I'm meant to go against the grain, and that's okay. Going against the grain means that you make a difference. You make a difference because you're walking a new path. And where others may walk the path that other people have walked before, you're a brave, courageous warrior. Because with each step that you take, you can't see the next step. But you put your foot forward anyway. And that's what warriors are made of. Miracles happen when we trust our own journey. We can compare with other people. We can think that they're doing it better. They're doing it more polished and brighter and vibrant, more perfectly. There's no errors, no flaws in what they're doing. Or we can say, perhaps my flaws, the errors I make, or all part of my creation, or all part of my unique journey. Perhaps the flaws are the light, the creation. The cracks is where the light comes in. So the next time you think that you're too different, too unconventional, and that you don't fit in. Please remember, it's okay. This is the way you are meant to show your soul to the world. 
This is you being authentic. This is you being honest and having integrity. If there wasn't unique and different in this world, there wouldn't be so many rare plants and beautiful species. There's some really unusual creatures in Australia, for example. Like a platypus, which looks like a duck and has a strange body. But it's beautiful and we love it because it's different. I think I've said this before, we could uh, walk around this world and see all the same trees. And that's all we have is the one tree everywhere. What a world that would be. How much would the world be lacking? And the same goes for you. Without your unique light, without your unique stamp on this world, no matter how strange, no matter how crazy, no, ha no matter how different or out of the box you seem, you need to do this. You need to be this because this is who you are. I, for one, think this world would be empty without you. I'm looking forward to see, seeing what you're going to put in the world. And life is waiting for you to do this. So if right now you're considering doing something completely against the grain, do it. Try not to let, try not to worry or let other people affect you on what you're putting out there. And just allow your unique stamp to be placed on this world. It's needed. Thanks for listening to another episode of Kelly Martin Speaks. I'd love to hear from you in the comments on my Podbean account. If you have any ideas of topics you would like me to discuss, please leave them there. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye. Thanks for listening to Kelly Martin Speaks. I'd love to reach more people. So if you could subscribe to me on iTunes and leave a review, this really helps. And if you'd like to support my work, pop over to kellymartinspeaks.co.uk to read more or follow me on social media or visit my YouTube channel. A donation is always welcome. Thanks everyone. <laughs> <laughs>